it's a suspected impact point. Heavy little difficulty, we can't get the light on to work. There seems to be some kind of mechanical problem. Let's send back and get another light on. Can tell we're going to take some readings with the gutter tire and uh, chase around here a little bit, wait for another light on to come back in.
Okay, lights off. He took this long to dock. What do you think about the spot? Some type of strange flashing red light ahead. There's yellow. I saw a yellow tinge in it too. Weird. It, it, it appears to be maybe moving a little bit this way. Yes, it's brighter than it has been. Yellow. It's coming this way. Also it is definitely way. coming this way. Pieces of it are shooting off. Yeah, there is no doubt about it. This is weird. To the left. Yeah, definitely moving off. Two, two lights. Two one way. light to the front, okay. one light to the left. Keep the flashlights off. There's something very, very strange. Get the headset on and see if it gets any stronger. Okay. Let, give us give us a well, the notation that this is on a beta reading too. It's on a beta reading? The okay. still has been removed. Okay. This is we're falling off it again. 
I could have just moved to the right. Yeah. Off to the right. Strange. Oh, well, why do you left? Let's, let's approach to the edge of the woods up there. Can you want to do it without lights? Let's do it carefully. Come on. Okay, we're looking at the thing. We're probably about two to 300 yards away. It looks like an eye winking at you. It's still moving from side to side. And when you put the star scope on it, it, it sort of has a hollow center, a dark center. It's, it's you know, like a pupil of an eye looking at you and winking. And the flash is so bright to the star scope that uh, it almost burns your eye. Past the farmer's house and across in the next field. Now we have multiple sightings of up to five lights with a similar shape and all, but they seem to be steady now rather than a pulsating or glow with a red flash. We just crossed the, the creek and uh, we're getting what kind of readings? Now? Getting th three good clicks on the meter and we're seeing strange lights in the sky. At 244, we're at the far side of the farmer's, the second farmer's field and made sighting again about 110 degrees. This looks like it's clear off to the coast. It's right on the horizon. Moves about a bit and flashes from time to time. Still steady or red in color. Also, after negative readings in the center of the field, we're picking up the slight readings, uh, four or five clicks now on the meter. 3.05, we see strange uh, strobe-like flashes to the uh, rather sporadic, but there's definitely something, uh, some kind of phenomenal. 3.05, at about uh, 10 degrees horizon, uh, directly north, we've got two strange objects, uh, half moon shape, dancing about with colored lights on them, but uh, gets to be about 5 to 10 miles out, maybe less. The half moons have now turned into full circles, as I know there was an ellip eclipse or something there for a minute or two. 3.15, now we've got an object about 10 degrees directly south, 10 degrees off the horizon. And the ones in the north are moving, one's moving away from us. Moving out fast. Now we're both heading north. Oh, here, here he comes from the south. He's coming toward us now. Now we're observing what appears to be a beam coming down to the ground. This is unreal. 330, or 330, and the objects are still in the sky, although the one to the south looks like it's losing a little bit of altitude. We're turning around and heading back toward the, the base. The object, to the, the object to the south is still beaming down lights to the ground. Zero four hundred 400 hours, one object still hovering over Woodbridge Base at about 5 to 10 degrees off the horizon, still moving erratic and similar lights and beaming down this area. 